I tried to record this video and I started getting a splitting headache um, because I had the tripod on the brightest setting and then I was staring right into the light for too long. So I have to wear these, um, but hi, <laughs> I'm new here. Um, my name is Gabby. I come on here and I watch so many people who have changed my life, like literally for the absolute better. I think it's important to like take time to self-reflect and come up with your own ideas. I've also come to so many revelations. I am a very ambitious person and um, when you're going through it or you're going through hard times, it is hard to stay that way. And I feel like people, including myself, we get so hard on ourselves. This video is for anyone who is doubting yourself on making a move or getting started on something because you don't believe that you can do it or you don't deserve it or you don't have a good support system or like anything. A month and a half ago, I decided to venture out and pursue other exciting opportunities that I won't get into. Um, I don't know if I ever will <laughs> because I don't really want to share my personal like business on here. That's the one reason that holds me back. But what's making me do it i'm like looking up right now because of the glasses what's making me do it is because i feel like people really do come on here to like seek advice and um if i can help like one two three people then cool don't like complacency meaning i just i want to keep moving up and i feel like when i am around people who inspire me is when i thrive i've just had a lot of um leaders, mentor figures just throughout my education, my career. Sometimes they would just be teaching me about life lessons and they really inspired me. In the long run especially, like I would just look back on some of the things they said to me and I just, you know, I did a lot of thinking. I saw an article the other day that was talking about 20 million people, 30 million people in the US alone are like suffering from depression or anxiety. And you never know, like who could see what and how much of a difference you can make. So here it goes. <laughs> so if you're thinking about um, making a move um, I will say like my career is versatile so I'm grateful for that but like that's something that I had to realize in order to like do it because you need to take away limiting beliefs and look at realistic facts in the situation because your mind is so used to seeing the negative I know that's redundant everyone you know we're all aware of that but it's true like it's really so true in the smallest ways so you need to look at your situation look at the positive aspects of it and the fact that my career is versatile is like an obvious thing too so like you never know you also have to look at your skills so looking at your skills like okay like me personally like i like to do research i love research i do love presentations actually like i like to public speak i don't know why but i like to share ideas and i like to just share what i worked on and like talk about it so that's like one other thing that i learned about myself or at least looked at like really looked at really take a look at the things that you do best you get into a flow state you do it naturally and leverage it and think of how you can get yourself into a position where you could be doing that or at least close because since I decided to pursue like you know what I'm going after now um, I never thought that I would even have half of the opportunities that I've had. It really hasn't been that long, so there are days where you're getting impatient. And it's important to really look at the timeline and be like, okay, it has been, what, one month? But then you look at all of your accomplishments like I did, like, and I was like, okay, well, I never thought that I would have even like been in this position. When you're going for big things, people have big schedules. And when you're going for a competitive thing, you have competition. Wait, I feel like I'll take these off for now. I'll put them back on if my head starts to pound. Like, don't limit yourself either. Like, you know, I'm pursuing something, right? But on the side, I can still have fun and be creative in different ways. Like, okay, two weeks ago, I was an extra in a Netflix thing coming out. Like, where did that come from? It was because I was just okay my mantra is the world is my playground and that's the way that you should look at it because it's like you are going to waste your time and your mental energy doing anything but that like like spiritually it's stealing your energy it's draining your energy because that energy could be used for something creative 
you have to stay on track. It's just that um, be patient and um, pour into yourself and just life experiences. Another thing is like intentions are an action plan. So, you know, I have intentions all over my vision board. My vision board is equally laid out to all my intentions. It just keeps you on track. Like literally, and I feel like I'm gonna have to, yeah, I have to end this soon because my head's gonna hurt. They keep you on track. So throughout the day, if you are having like, I don't know, having brain fog and you're feeling like off balance or just unmotivated, just review your intentions. Just remind yourself of what you're trying to do and what you promised to yourself yesterday. And the other thing is that I know that people could have been in your life that really did a number on you and really discouraged you and left you unmotivated and feeling empty. The thing is, is that yes, allow yourself to feel. Just take yourself like, you know, some days are worse than others, but limit yourself to like an hour or like two hours, however long you wanna do it. Let yourself feel, cry it out. Don't think about it as you're crying though, just release it, okay? And then after that, Think about how they would feel. Think about the looks on their faces if they were to see you unhappy and unsuccessful and not where you wanted to be. Say they knew that that was your plan or your whatever. Do you want to give that to them? Or think about the looks on their faces when you're doing everything that they said that you couldn't. Or just doing amazing to begin with. Like amazing, amazing. And over time, you're gonna find that your motivation doesn't even come from that idea. From pouring into yourself so many times, for so long, on your own. Believe me, when you are in circumstances in life where you don't feel supported or, you know, there's people falling out or you had a breakup, it's really easy to get distracted and off track. Um, and if you have really big goals like myself, um, you know, it's it can leave you jaded. If you just put the perspective in your mind that you don't want to give these people who hurt you what they want ever did they give you what you wanted no think about that and even if you are all alone i know it's hard i do i know it's hard but try to just have kind of like a tunnel vision to your goal forget about everyone for a minute and just look at the goal you have to understand that there's opportunities everywhere. Sometimes your schedule is going to get busier and you're gonna have to say no to certain things and some people might be out all the time and they're well established, your circumstances are not the same. So with that being said, like, look at the end when you succeeded, how happy you'll be. It's also really important not to compare yourself to others because yes, they might be successful and have the social life, but they had to work to get there and to be where they wanted to be. If you want to do something like now and it requires you to put in a lot of effort and action, then you might have to step away from a little for a little while. I have done it too. So yeah, um, but my head is pounding um, even though I dimmed this light. I'm gonna hop off, um, but yeah, like I said, even if I could just have helped like two people, one people, <laughs> three people, then good, cool. So to whoever sees this, stick in there, I love you. I'm rooting you on, <laughs> I can't even talk, all right. Okay, bye.